Good day. Shane here with Apex Custom Smokers with a video on how I make my dampers for our direct heat smokers. Most smoker stacks are stationary and don't move. However, with the direct heat smoker, every time you lift the lid, the smoker dampers will fall open if they're not held in place. There are a lot of ways to fix this problem. This is just the way I do it. So here, I'm marking the tabs that will be welded on both the damper and the stack. I cut the damper out earlier, as you can see by the holes here. I should mention, I usually cut the damper and tab all as one, but since my oxyacetylene torch was stolen earlier this year, I found this works better for me than the plasma torch. Anyways, I used the grinder to cut the tabs out of this quarter inch plate. Once cut out, I clamp them together and grind off the rough edges before drilling a hole through both tabs. Then, the edges need to be beveled on both sides of the tab and damper to allow for proper weld penetration. As you can see, I got a good 1 16th of an inch bevel on either side. Then I use my mid to tack them together. I found this is the best order for tacking that will lead to the least amount of deflection. Outside corners first, then center on both sides finished with tacking the edges and letting it cool before stick welding them out. I'm using 6011 and for my first pass I'm going between the tacks.
I clean everything with a wire reel. And weld the full pass again using 6011 so it penetrates as deep as possible. Dampers are the Achilles heel of smokers as they're always the first to rust out, usually because they're made from thinner material than the smoker. That never sat well with me and for the past few years I've made all my dampers from the same thickness material as the unit itself. A bit more work but well worth it in the end. Here is a 3 8 inch idler bushing welded on to a 3 8 piece of round stock with a stainless steel spring pushed onto it. Now it's simply a matter of putting the round stock through the tabs. Apply pressure from the top and weld it to the bottom tab from underneath. This allows the spring to apply constant downward pressure on the damper tab, ensuring it doesn't move, regardless of the position it is in. that does it for today's video. I hope this helps the people who asked for this one. Please feel free to ask in the comments for anything you'd like to see in future videos. Thank you for your support. As always, I'll see you all on the next one. Apex Custom Smokers, out.